Wow, look at this green, green field. So now we're going to uh, Periyasov, uh, Periyasov, Periyasov, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, we're going there and it's like the central area south of Ukraine, uh, south of Kiev, Ukraine. And it's about 95 kilometers away, but it has a lot of history behind it. It's a city that's about like a thousand years old and it's really old. And there's a lot of um, treaties that were written there about like different, um, I don't know, aspects of Kiev and Rus and Ukraine and uh, there's a lot of museums there as well. We're gonna check it all out and hopefully we're gonna have a great time. So we are located near the most famous monastery in the, this town, Peryaslav. What? Uh, it's called Vaznesensky Monastery and it has own history. It was built by investments of Ukrainian hetman Ivan Mazepa. This monastery also has own bell tower here and it's very beautiful. It's the most it's a sample sample of Ukrainian baroque. No, sample of sample of Ukrainian baroque. Sample of uh... I guess you could say the heart sculpture because every Ukrainian city has a heart sculpture. It's like a mandatory thing nowadays. It's like a pretty cozy place to be in. Um, I would love to spend my day here, like reading a book. I have these beautiful benches. Wow, this is famous bench that I read about this bench. And here's my friend Hrihobis Kavaradao, who is a famous writer in Ukraine. Mr. Volodymyr Zabolotny, and he is a famous Ukrainian architecture that actually designed a lot of uh, buildings, including uh, the Verkhovna Rada building with a dome on it. Right now we're at a small little kiosk that sells uh, bread and seeing a lot of hot dogs, chaburiaks, hamburgers. But Pereyaslav is known for its pita bread. I don't know why, I don't know how, but it's just known for Pereyaslav pita. And we're gonna check it out and go into the store and see if we can find any right now. So nobody in the store and we are going to find pita in some other place. Trava bar. We see trava inside. We have the barista sleeping here behind the sign, not working. So we have the quarantine and everything is closed, including this wonderful movie theater. Today is rainy, it's not sunny weather here and the town seems like very sad sad town <laughs> and uh, everywhere museum is closed so we're going maybe to watch the churches in in this town i don't know so um uh, the best we can do is uh, walk up to every museum out here as many of them and just film the exterior of the museum this is a museum of skobzarstva which is i don't know i think it's um Kozak stuff, like with the banduras, it's the national instrument of Ukrainian and ancient Ukrainian Ukrainians in general, I guess. I mean, there's the same exact same copy of the playground, the creepy playground we've seen in Fastiv, and it seems like this is Soviet Union for you, just taking one thing and they're duplicating it all over, you know, the former Soviet Union, especially around in in this in this region. So I wouldn't be surprised uh, if all these towns that have like about like twenty five thousand people in there or more, they're going to have the same kind of um, playground because at that time you had the same uh, sort of architect or the same sort of guy who was responsible in for like probably all the playgrounds in the Kiev Oblast in this whole region and then they built the same thing over and over again so it's just kind of crazy you, just, you get this deja vu everywhere all the time uh. so we didn't find any pita in this town and uh, we find only panini here so we can buy only panini 
all panini is frozen, so it looks so ugly, so I don't want to eat it. <laughs> the famous Ukrainian poet Taras Shevchenko used to live in this building right here, and he wrote three of his really famous works here. Uh, Zapovid, Kavkaz, and uh, Naimichka, which are three poems or short stories probably. This, they restored this building pretty well, and there's obviously a museum here, but as with every museum in Periaslo, This is really fun. We have like a diversity of equipment out here. We have a tank, a bus, a Volga, and a truck, and even an excavator of some sort. Uh, it looks really funny, I mean. Wow, we found an abandoned place here in the Periaslav and we are going to watch what inside. But it's scary, it's scary to walk here because it can fall down on me. It's a beautiful stage. I could probably go out there and perform something. Ooh, this place must have held lots of cool concerts and um, different sort of shows. There's a hole over there. I think it was for the operator, maybe for the projector or something. <sighs> what am I saying? I don't know. But it's really hard to say what this was for. Was this a school or was this a factory? It's hard to say. I think it was a school, I think, a pretty big one, because uh, the rooms are individual and there's lots of rooms and they're all like pretty regular size, so they could be classrooms. And uh, over there, everything is covered in tiles. So, I don't know, I think it was a school, if it was my guess. We were looking for the famous Priyaslis pita all day and we went through a bunch of stores to find paninis and stuff, but looks like we haven't found anything edible so far. We finally found a place, it seems like it's open during quarantine. Quarantine closes everything, but this one is finally open. Let's check it out. I doubt these hamburgers are gonna be good, but it's the only place we could buy it. Oh, it, it smells it smells good, I think. Maybe not, it's not so bad. <laughs> it's good enough. Apparently one of the spiciest uh, burgers here in Kuryasa, it's all red. It costs about 50 hryvnias, which is about, I don't know, I guess about two bucks. No, wait, less than two dollars. Some onions, carrots, uh, and uh, spicy sauce probably. Pretty good. I don't know what you're gonna say, but I think that this is the funniest bird in the world. Rabbits, rabbits, I see rabbits. They are so cute. They are so cute. Oh. It's some sort of Ukrainian cafe where you can have Ukrainian food, borscht, maybe with pampushki, maybe vareniki, like in your grandmother home. I don't know. You know, I... Of course, I was walking with the horn in the forest. I don't... I, I am afraid to touch to him because... Very slow, just go really, really slow. He's and cute, then... but I don't want to touch him. Okay, he give up. Hi guys, hi guys. Hi. I like villages because because of the smell. Yeah, I'm in front of the most colorful building here in Priyaslav. Blue 
and green and orange and no, it's not orange. I'm joking. It's blue and green and yellow. But that's it. So now we're at the Pyroslav Museum. It's a complex uh, of museums here. Behind me is a reconstruction of an older dwelling between the 300 and 500 AD that used to live here in the Kievan Rus. I'm always afraid of monuments. I don't know why. It's like, you know, it's Stop like... touching the poor lady's nose. Maybe I may I can make a wish. <laughs> Well, this is a reconstruction of uh, 11th century building here, a house probably. And I'm just curious if they actually did carve out the wood like this back then. And with what? Maybe with knives? And um, it looks pretty cool. Something blue again! Something blue again! Look at this church! I'm attracted to the color blue. <laughs> I guess here uh, in, in the middle of Ukraine I can pretend to be a 15th century farmer. And uh, there's quite a lot of museums. There's a museum behind me, there's a museum behind me over there. Because it's not convenient to sit there and it's uh, like a little bit of space there. So we're in the agricultural area here of the park with tons of combines, trucks, different kind of agricultural equipment, tractors. And this is like a monument to, I suppose, Ukraine in general. Ukraine was really an agricultural country, it really has the world's most fertile soil. And this soil is really, you know, sustained everybody here, sustained um, people for generations. And um, you have a lot of these old abandoned uh, tractors, most of them from the early 19th century. Uh, that survives still to this day and you can see that that was really the backbone of Ukraine here in Pereyaslov. So we're on the way back home and Pereyaslov was really cool. Pereyaslov. I still I've been here all day and I still haven't figured out how to say the name of this place. But uh, in either case I think we had a pretty great time here. We've seen quite a lot of museums. I mean the museums are the reason why we came here, quarantine or not, I mean, the quarantine is something that is with us, but I wasn't going to let that spoil the plan of coming to Pereyaslav and checking this place out in its full museum glory. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video and uh, leave your comments down below, as they say.